Hi, welcome to Plate Factory. These are all of our legal styles as you can see over here. Some people may say, no, that's not legal or no, that's not legal. And today we're gonna to explain to you as to why they are legal. So let's move over to our amazing signboard here. This has taken a lot of work to amalgamate all of the different standards and all of the different regulations in order to work out exactly what is legal. So the first thing is all of our digits are the Charles Wright typeface as you can see. The digits have got to be 79 millimeters high, 50 millimeters wide, and the stroke must be 14 millimeters. All of the digits that you saw previously are exactly that. Now, if you look over here, the second thing is that the digits must be black, and there must be one shade of black. So sometimes you have a matte black, sometimes you'll have a shiny black. You must make sure that you don't mix the two together. The third thing here, correct spacing. As you can see here, you've got to have 11 millimeters between the digits. If you bring that any closer or further apart, that will render them illegal. And also between the groups, you must have 33 millimeters. It can't be 35, it can't be 34, it's got to be 33. Next one is the format type. You can have 2D printed, you can have 3D gel, and you can have 4D acrylic, or even pressed number plates. And that's quite clear on the gov.uk website, which basically says that raised characters are allowed. Fifth point here is that you've got to have the correct plate size. And over here, you can see you must have 11 millimeters between the side of the plate and the digit, and the same at the top as well. Moving on to the materials, all the materials must be tested to BSA U145E. That means the acrylic, the reflective, as well as the digits. You must have a front plate, which is white, and a rear plate, which is yellow, and you can't have a background pattern, and you're not allowed to have tinted material either. Moving on to supplier details, the supplier details must be on there. It must say the name of the supplier as well as their postcode. And moving on to number 10, also the BSA U145E must be written on there as well as the supplier of the material. Point eight over here talks about permanent 3D and 4D characters. The digits must not fall off the number plate. They must not be removable either. So you've got to use a permanent adhesive. A lot of people are cutting corners by using suppliers who supply a really cheap material in which the digits end up falling off. Plate Factory, the only people who will supply you with a lifetime warranty on all of your digits. Moving on to nine, the ANPR camera must be able to read your number plates. And a lot of the 4D digits which are out there have come from abroad and unfortunately they reflect the ANPR cameras. You might think that's a good idea but it could land you with a £100 fine because you'll be in contravention of Regulation 11. Our digits are made from the highest quality 4D material and they are tested with ANPR cameras to ensure that the ANPR camera will read them. We've already spoken about the legal markings. If we move over to the badges here. The badges you can see, you can have basically the legal one at the moment, which is a UK badge with the Union Jack or any of these other flags on there. They're permitted. Or if you have an electric vehicle, you're allowed to have the green flash on there. If you have this badge on here, you're allowed to travel in Europe without having the oval UK badge as well. So it's a great option if you're traveling abroad. Hopefully that really helps with any questions that are out there. Thank you.